This is Sonia Malkin and the world of folk music. Today the program is going to be a little different from what I do usually. There's not going to be a theme and I will not play records. The whole show is going to be live and very live. I have two guests here with me today. One is Jerry Tenney who plays mandolin, banjo and guitar. And a young woman here who's a very talented musician too. She's uh, about uh, let's see, four feet eleven, dark hair, dark eyes. She's very cute. But she is here mainly because she is a beautiful musician. And I've been singing with her for, well, just about as many years as I can remember. And I wanted her to perform a little more. And this is uh, one little bit of encouragement for her. We haven't done too much in public yet. We have uh, sang in a couple of benefits and at the poetry reading here and there, but not too much. But I would like you to hear Monelle Richmond a little more and maybe someday all by yourself. You never know. Right, Monelle? Could be. <laughs> She's very shy, although she has no reason to be. She plays piano, she plays guitar, she plays a penny whistle, she plays a flute. She sings very nicely. She even writes songs here and then. And uh, we have been playing music and singing together for many, many years. Uh, we have been exchanging songs. Of course, our tests are a little different. But we all love music. And let's start with a song that we have been learning just a few months ago. And it's uh, quite different from what I do usually. It's not folk, it's, uh, well, you would say it's country music, Manila? Uh, not sure. Is it country, Jerry? Country, western, bluegrass, old timey <laughs> country. <coughs> it's called Take Me Back to the South. Take me back to the place where I first saw the light. To my sweet sunny south, take me home. Where the wild birds sing me to sleep every night. Oh, why was I tempted to roam? The path to our cabin, they say, Grown green, and the stones are quite more seen around. And I know that the faces and forms that I love now lie beneath the cold mossy love that song. Of course, that's not very <coughs> folk music, but uh, that's all right. We'll do a folk song next. When my children were small, four of them, they all sang in pitch, thank goodness. And my dream was to take them on the road with me and uh, 
show them the world and show them to the world. But somehow, uh, they had other ideas of what they wanted to do with their lives, like children would do. So that never happened. However, they all are musicians. And someday I would bring Gilles here to play guitar and fiddle for me. He's uh, quite a musician by himself. Uh, what would you like to sing now, Nell? Don Barton's drums. Oh, yeah, that's one of your favorites, isn't it? Didn't you sing that with Fern, too? Yeah. Yeah, she sang that with her other sister. Fern is not here. She's in the city. But when they get together, they usually sing around the piano or a guitar. And this is one of the songs that they really like. It's a very pretty song. We learned it from the Beers records, uh, Bob and Evelyn Beers. And it's called Dumbarton's Drum. Dumbarton's drums, they sound so bonny. Thank you. 
drum. Do you like that, Jerry? Mm, oh, thank you. You never have? No. That's quite a classic. <coughs> it's from Scotland. Well, I don't know. What do you think, Manel? Do you think we'll get on the road someday and uh, the two of us uh, touring the country and uh, becoming rich and famous as the uh, the slightly famous Malkin? Maybe, <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll, we'll start tomorrow. All right, Manel, that was very clever. <laughs> you just haven't had my next song. It's called Tomorrow. <laughs> just getting there. Well, you know, when I'm getting any younger one of these days, somebody's going to have to take my place around here. And Manel is going to be just fine. <laughs> well, this song is called Going Tomorrow. Tomorrow is a little place in Ohio that I went through once. And I thought uh, Bob Gibson had made it up to make a funny song out of it, but actually, it was right there in Ohio. I started on a journey just about a year ago to a little town called Morrow in the state of Ohio. I'd never been much of a traveler, and I really didn't know that Morrow was the hardest place I'd ever tried to go. I went down to the station for my ticket and applied for tips regarding Morrow, not expecting to be guided. Says I, my friend, I like to go tomorrow and return No later than tomorrow, for I haven't time to burn Says he to me, now let me see if I have heard you right You'd like to go tomorrow and return tomorrow night Or you should have gone tomorrow, yesterday and back today For the train of go tomorrow is a mile upon its way Now if you'd gone tomorrow, yesterday, now don't you see You could have gone tomorrow and returned today at three For the train that goes tomorrow, if my schedule is right Today it goes tomorrow and returns tomorrow night Huh? Says I, my friend, it seems to me you're talking to your hat. There is a town called Morrow on the line, now tell me that. There is, says he, but take from me a quiet little tip. To get from here tomorrow is the 14-hour trip. Now the train that goes tomorrow leaves today at 8.35. And at half past ten tomorrow, that's the time it should arrive. But if from here tomorrow is a 14-hour jump, can you go today, tomorrow, and get back tonight, you chump? Yeah. Says I, I like to go tomorrow, so can I go today? And get tomorrow by tonight if there is no delay. Well, well, says it to me, and I've got no more to say. Can I get anywhere tomorrow and get back again today? Says I, I can, I think you know it all, but kindly let me say, how can I go tomorrow if I leave this town today? Said he, you cannot go tomorrow anymore today For the train that goes tomorrow is a mile up on its way I was so disappointed, I was mad enough to swear The train had gone tomorrow and let me standing there The man was writing, telling me I was a hollering jay I couldn't go tomorrow, so I think in town I'll stay So there it's not exactly a <coughs> tongue twister, it's more like a brain corkscrew. All you have to remember actually is it takes 14 hours to get there, so of course you can get back to the same day. It took me about three weeks to learn the darn thing. Now we have uh, a song that Manel and I had been singing forever, or just about. It's a French song, and it's from the 15th century. The story is pretty much the same as in Green Sleeves. It's a young man who is uh, complaining about his girlfriend because she keeps asking him for money. So he decided to find another girl who would love him for himself. The way we sing it is the way they did it in the Middle Ages. Uh, that is, what was the name of that, Manel? An Co organ. Can you explain what it was? It's not, it's not harmony, it's just two melodies of fifth apart, and it sounds sort of odd yeah, it's if you're not used to hearing it. It's the same melody. Same melody. It's the same melody in a fifth apart. 
celle qui m'a demandé argent pour être mamie. Elle m'a fait grand vilainie. Jamais je ne As-tu point mis ton bonnet, petit, petit, petit bonhomme As-tu point mis ton bonnet, petit bonhomme, bonhomme Et bon gré en est ma vie, lui faudrait-il prendre retour et ne lui doit-il pas suffire si je lui donne ma As-tu point mis ton bonnet, petit, petit, petit bonhomme As-tu point mis ton bonnet, petit bonhomme, bonhomme je la quitte en bonne foi et ferai une autre amie puisqu'elle demande partie d'argent qu'avons elle As-tu point mis ton bonnet, petit, petit, petit bonhomme As-tu point mis ton bonnet, petit bonhomme, bonhomme Petit bonhomme, bonhomme That was a French song from the 15th century, Celle qui m'a demandé, the one who asked me money to be my lover. Uh, Manel, why don't you sing a song by yourself now? All right. Cherry's going to help me out on this, on the guitar, I hope. Uh, what are you going to sing? When I Dream. could have a mansion that is higher than the trees. I could have all the gifts I want and never ask please. I could fly to Paris, all oh, that's at my beck and call. Why do I go through life? But when I dream, I dream of you. Maybe someday you will come true.
I can go to bed alone and never know his name. But when I dream, I dream of you. Maybe someday. That's very pretty. Oh, <coughs> yeah, this, this is very nice, Jerry. I think we'll take Jerry on the road with us. What do you think? Definitely. Okay. You're Would hired. you like to come with us, Jerry? Sure. I don't know where we'll go, but. Venetia. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere, anywhere. Huh? <coughs> well, Halloween is barely over. I hope you didn't have too much trouble last night. But here is a song about All Allah's Eve. It's a very pagan song was written by Sonia Brock, who was uh, the sister of uh, Sylvia, from Ian and Sylvia. She writes some very nice things, and here is one that I like very much. <coughs> <coughs> the pale moon is riding along all the trees. The doves are all resting in dark bowries. I call to my love, come away. Quench the lamp, it reminds me of day. Come away. Come away, there's no reason to stay. Come away. I will play to a garland of damp forest leaves. We will not be alone in the wild forest trees. The Sabbath of night comes at last. We will dance in a ring on the grass. We will dance in a ring and we'll merrily sing. Come away. We will dance for the man with the horns of a stag. The bonfire burns brightly, my love, don't lag. We will drink from a free-flowing cup. With the wind and the flames will rise up. With the wind and the flames will rise up to our games. Come away. The Lord that you know is the Lord of the day. When children are laughing and light in their play. Come away to the games of the night. The darkness will hide us from sight. And the master we know is older than he of the day. Come away. 
There's no reason to stay Come away It was beautiful. Yeah, I like that. <coughs> Maybe because I'm pagan mainly. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. Let's do something else together, Monel. Here's another one that we like. It's an old English song. And I think Jerry can accompany us with a mandolin. You all ready, Jerry? I see That's that. The song, I think. Yes, it's the. Uh, it's called the Ash Grove. Father Son, which was written by a good friend of mine, Hugh Prestwood, who wrote uh, a song called Hard Times for Lovers. You may have heard on the radio. Oh, that Judy was the Collins. name of the, uh, the album, wasn't it? Yes. Judy Collins. Yes, and he's written lots of beautiful songs, and I'm real proud to know him yes, and to be able to sing them. Yeah, he sang, he, there's one of them that I sing that, that I love. It's wearing. wearing. Yeah, we both <coughs> love that one, too. So I'll listen, son. And this is called Father Son. Someone you never saw Sit down, son, and listen While I tell you about your mom She was a handsome child When she came down from the hill She's turning as the leaves turn To a deeper beauty still Tell you this, my 
only son So you can understand Why I never chance to take Another woman's hand Her hair was almost black Her eyes were almost blue And she kind of sang her talking Like the mountain people do She had a way of staring That could grab your heart and hold a way of burning It could make the sun feel cold I tell you this my only son So you can understand Why I never chance to take Another woman's hand She died while in the pain Of bringing you to life Though I don't hold it against you Like she was reborn Like your silence in the evening And your humming in the morn I tell you this, my only son This guy is so talented, to say nothing of Manel Richmond, of course. <laughs> well, that was, uh, what's the name of that song again? Father, Son. Father, Son. Well, suppose I sing your song about a uh, father and daughter. I love that one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you would, interested as you are in women's uh, liberation. This is a kind of women's lib in a way the old-fashioned way. <clears throat> oh, Johnny be fair and Johnny be fine and ask me for to wed and I would marry Johnny but my father up and said I'm sad to tell you, daughter what your mother never knew but Johnny is a son of mine and so is kin to you. Billy be fair and Billy be fine and ask me for to wed And I would marry Billy, but my father up and said I'm sad to tell you, daughter, what your mother never knew But Billy is a son of mine and so is kin to you Oh, well, that's a pity. 
I really love Billy. Well, Jimmy be fair and Jimmy be fine and ask me for to wed. And I would marry Jimmy, but my father up and said, I'm sad to tell you, daughter, what your mommy never knew. But Johnny, Jimmy too, is a son of mine and so is kin to you. You've kind of been busy, Daddy, around there. You never seen a sadder girl and sorry as I was. The boys in town are all my kin, and my father is the cause. If life does shall continue, I will die a single miss. I think I'll go to mother and complain to her of this. Oh, daughter, didn't I teach you to forgive and to forget? And so your father sows his oats, but still you needn't fret. Your father may be the father of all the boys in town, but still he's not the one who sired you, so marry whom you will. So there. <laughs> Did you like that, Peter? Yeah. Peter approves. All right. Well, let's sing another French song now. Um, There's another one, which is a very well-known French song. It's uh, This one is a Canadian version of it. There's about 117 versions of it. This one's from Canada. It's called A la Claire Fontaine by a clear fountain. This young man goes walking and bathes in the water and dries himself under a big oak tree. And on the highest branch, he hears a nightingale sing. So he says to him, oh, you may well sing, you have a happy heart, but I am very sad because I lost my girlfriend for a rose that I refused to her. And I wish the rose was still on the bush and my girlfriend still loving me. <laughs> <laughs> 